Hallelujah. God bless you all. This is um, day two of the 40-day fast that we, you and me, are on together. Um, I'm doing these videos, as I said before in the, pre the previous videos, that I'm doing this because the Lord led me to do this this time. I've done 40-day fast before, one time before, and... Um, other people ask me, well, how'd you do that? I mean, they were just like amazed. You did 40 days fast? Yeah. This time, I felt that um, in my heart, the Lord was leading me in prayer that, okay, it's time to do another 40 day fast um, because we didn't clean out everything we wanted to clean out last time. So now the time is right to get this stuff cleaned out and um, not only get it clean, the stuff cleaned out out of me, but. Um, Whatever else that the Lord may have in store for me, I need to be prepared for. I mean, I need to be prayed up. I need to have time spent in the presence of the Lord to be able to accept the Lord. It's kind of like when Moses was um, up on the mountain. Um, I think it, he was up there for seven days before the Lord actually showed himself because he had to be cleansed. Because if he was not cleansed, he would have been destroyed. Because the Lord is too holy. For um, for just us people, or or not us people, he was a person. <laughs> but um, I, you know, you know what I mean. It, he, the Lord is holy, too holy for human beings to be in His presence who are full of sin. He would destroy them. So um, that's His Bible. If uh, um, check it out, read read your whole Bible, and then come back to me and tell me if I was wrong. Anyway, hallelujah. <laughs> Um, I hope you're getting to know me a little bit. So uh, let me tell you about what happened today. It is, I'm doing this video a little late today. It is 6.17 in the evening. I go to, I have to be at church at 7 because I, I pray from 7 to midnight. So, but um, today, oh wow, let me tell you I had an awesome day today. Um, first, I woke up about 9 o'clock um, and I had a little orange juice. I didn't really want nothing else. And so my plan was that I was going to go for my walk, let's say hour up, hour back, two hour, two hour walk, three hours sometimes, um, and then I was going to take it from there. But what happened was, you know, my best laid plans, um, let me start you off about um, last night, give you a little background. Okay, this is what happened to you on a fast, because it's like going through the fire. When the devil sees anybody, anybody, I don't care who you are, the devil, you, you pop up on his radar when he sees you uh, preparing to move towards the Lord, preparing to escape his prison planet here. Um, when you start doing things um, for the Lord, not even for the Lord, moving your way to the Lord, into holiness, into spirituality, into um, killing off the flesh, you pop up on his radar, his little demons that he has around us all the time. Because the same way that God has a guardian angel around you, the devil has a tracking angel on you too. And so um, what happened was um, I told two people that I was going on this fast. I usually tell nobody when I'm going on a fast. The first thing they do is they notice um, I'm drinking juice. Because usually I'm, I'm a tight white. I want to drink pure, real juice. I drink the cheap stuff. But um, when I'm on a when I'm on a fast, I need the um, I, I I desire the taste of the good stuff, is more or less. And um, I'm not spending money on food, so I'm spending it on juices and stuff. Anyway, um, beyond that, um, I told two people that I was going on this fast, and I was telling them because I you know I respect them and um, I wanted them to support me in prayer and um, a lot of times when you go on this type of fast say I spend a lot of time in church um, the devil doesn't really have access to me and because I don't um, I don't spend a lot of time in too many places I don't go to the mall I don't look at the stinking movies I don't go shopping unless I have to um, 
I don't really, um, it's nowhere for him to get access to me. I'm not going to his concerts. I'm not, um, I'm not doing any of that stuff. So, but where I am going is the church. So what does he do? He sticks the devils in the church. <laughs> or he will, um, influence people who may be of God to, um, do his will. The devil is who's ever available. If he sees you got an open door, guess what? He's going in. He's going in. He has no mercy. Um, anyway, I told two people about this fast. I said, um, I'm doing it different this time. And this time, I want to take some folks along with me. I want them to experience what I experience because um, I believe that's what Christianity is about, being with Jesus. He wants you. He wants us Part of the, um, the the Great Commission is to spread the gospel over all the earth, but also the fivefold ministry is to prepare the saints to do the work of the ministry. And so, how do they get prepared? Um, I know people who who do doing fast, and they have not a clue what's going on. They don't know what what it's all about. They do things like, "Oh, I'm doing a Daniel fast, so I'm going to eat um, wheat spaghetti." Wheat spaghetti? Okay. Now I'm going to have wheat spaghetti and popcorn. Okay. Well, that's good for you. Hallelujah. Let's see how that works out. Tell me about it when you're through. <laughs> anyway, um, but uh, I apologize. I repent. If that person is watching this video, I repent right now because I didn't mean nothing personal because so I didn't say your name. Anyway, um, I love you. Uh, anyway, um, um, People don't know. I see people doing things like um, uh, saying it's a fast where, well, uh, I can't drink coffee. I want coffee, but I can't drink it. But I'll drink some tea. Eh? Or, um, well, I can't eat this, but I can eat that. Can't do this, but I can. That's legalism. That's not a fast. It's legalism. That's you driving yourself nuts. Um, and you see, the way I talk on this video is the way I talk to most people, most men. Women, I talk differently because I've learned that women and men are two different creatures. With women, I I, I talk very not. I mean, not, not that I don't talk nice to men, but I talk. Um, how do I say it? I don't, well, you guys know what I'm talking about. You treat women differently than you do a man. A man, you talk to him, you know, you're a man. You talk to you straight. You can take it. You know, you don't get your little feelings hurt all the time. But, um, you know, little tenderonies running around. What that's all about? I don't know. Anyway, um, let me tell you what happened to me. I'm starting this fast. And um, I told two people. Nobody else. I said, I'm going to do videos for the 40 days. And I'm going to put it out there. And I know that God and the Holy Spirit has pushed me to do this. Because somebody out there and if you're watching the video right now it could be you are the one that the devil doesn't want to see this and doesn't want to do this because you might be the one that's going to break through and break through the veil and walk around and with spiritual eyes open and you know just <laughs> casting demons out all over the place going on a demon hunt hallelujah tired of the devil always shooting fiery darts over here he shoots some back at him anyway you know that's, that's my arch enemy the devil anyway <laughs> um hallelujah so i told two people about this and um Oh, my. oh, one person was like, well, great. Yeah, I'm for you. Hallelujah. Okay, doing something. Um, and the other person was like, hmm. I'm like, okay. A little smile there. Like, oh, okay. I don't, know, I don't know what that was about. But then I got an email. That, the night um, of the first video I did, I got an email. I was like, oh, okay. Because... I'm also, because um, it was the night before, because um, I'm also limiting my time on the internet, where I'm not doing Facebook and any social things like that, that junk, no. Um, Facebook, I, I love doing my Facebook, my Facebook brothers and sisters, because I do a little ministering there, um, and I don't take it too far. Um, but it's a distraction, because a lot of people like to argue and bicker and fight on their own. 
You know, that's why I said delete, but I click them off real quick. I've learned that. And nobody nowhere in the Bible says I got to put up with that. You know, if you would go, go back and graze some grass. You leave me alone. Anyway, I love you. But, uh, <laughs> hallelujah. But anyway, I say a lot of stuff that a lot of people feel, but they don't say it in public. I'm transparent that way. I praise the Lord for that because, um, He's able, because I am so transparent, he's able, I'm able to, to um, detect um, character flaws in me. Um, I, not things that are going to keep me out of the kingdom of heaven or, or damage my, my salvation. But there's some things in me that need to be reflective of Christ and not reflective of my flesh, which is why I'm on this 40-day fast. Anyway, I, I can't, I keep getting distracted from the story. This person sent me an email. I, I was like, oh, that's, that's nice. Let me, let me read it. Well, actually, she told me. She sent some stuff about mercy. and I didn't, even, I didn't want to look at that no more. But she said, and you, chapter, uh, chapter 58 of Isaiah applies to you. I'm like, uh -huh. oh, okay, hallelujah. It's going to teach me how to do a little something fast. Okay, I'm going to read it. Let me read it to you. I'm reading um, chapter 58, book of Isaiah. Um, I'm reading out the New Living Translation. It's one of my favorites. New Living Translation. Um, that and the King James. Okay, this is this is New Living Translation. If you're getting your Bibles out, I got uh, one of these little... Um, this is so cool. Uh, oh, there you, you can see it there kind of pick it up a little bit anyway it's um it's called a, it's a little tablet i got off of um whew, of uh amazon pay 80 bucks for it and this thing is awesome whew. i got every translation of the bible right here ever had a bible study you know one of the things i hate most about being a bible study and the devil did it um everybody's got a different translation of the bible so you can't you can't I can read along with that. It's very, it's difficult. And those who say, oh, no, I learned how to do it. Oh, good for you. God bless you. <laughs> um, God bless you. But it's irritating to me. Um, I didn't realize that that was this, how this is going to work for me. But when somebody's starting reading in the Bible, I say, what translation you got? And this, oh, cool. And I go to the translation and bam, here it is. Hallelujah. <laughs> Ain't got one on you, devil. God is good all the time. Anyway, um, it's not, if you want to know what kind of this is, uh, Kobe Kairos. I think it's 733, mid-733, if you want to look it up. <laughs> Cost me 80 bucks on Amazon. Works awesome. This is a 7-inch. Anyway, um, enough advertising for Kobe. I uh, <laughs> love you. Uh, chapter 58. Hopefully, that little inner no entertainment I did right there. Uh, give me enough time to get your Bibles out. True and true and false worship. Shout with the joy of a trumpet blast. Shout aloud. Don't be timid. Tell my people Israel of their sins. Yet they act they act pious. They come to the temple every day. And seem delighted to learn about me. They act like a righteous nation. They would never, like they would never abandon the laws of its God. They asked me, they asked, uh, they asked me to take action on their behalf, pretending they want to hear from, to hear me. We have fasted before you, they say. Why aren't you impressed? We have been very hard on ourselves, and you don't even notice it. I will tell you why, I respond. It's because you are, you're, you are fasting to please yourself. Even while you fast, you keep oppressing your workers. What good is fasting? When you keep on fighting and quarreling, this kind of fasting will never get you anywhere with me. You humble yourself by going through the motions of penance, bowing your head like reeds bending in the wind. 
you dress in burlap and cover yourself with ashes. That's a good one. <laughs> and this, what is this what you call fasting? Do you really think this will please the Lord? No. This is the kind of fasting I want. Free those who are wrong, wrongly imprisoned. Lighten the burden of those who work for you. Let the oppressed go free and remove the chains that, that bind people. Share your food with the hungry and give shelter to the homeless. Give clothes to those who need, who need them and do not hide from relatives who need your help. Your salvation your salvation will come like the dawn and your wounds will quickly heal. Your, your godliness will lead you forward and the glory of the Lord will protect you from behind. Then when you call, the Lord will answer. Yes, I am here. He will quickly reply. Remove the heavy yokes of oppression. Stop pointing your finger and spreading vicious rumors. Feed the hungry and help those in trouble. Then your light will shine out of the darkness and the darkness around you will be bright as noon. The Lord will guide you continually. Giving you water when you are dry and restoring your strength. You will be like a well watered garden. Like an even flowing spring. Some of you will rebuild the deserted ruins of your cities. Then you will be known as a rebuilder of walls and restorers of homes. Keep the Sabbath day holy. Don't pursue your own interests on that day. But enjoy the Sabbath. And keep and speak of it with delight as the Lord as the Lord's holy day. Honor the Sabbath in everything you do on that day. And don't follow your own desires or talk idly. Then the Lord will be delighted. I will give you great honor and satisfy you with inheritance I promise to your ancestor Jacob. I the Lord have spoken. So I was a lot of I'm like, whoa. When I read that. When I first read it, along with the little note that went with the email, I was like, man, you never know what people are thinking about you until the devil gets in there. And But you know what? It's not that it's what the person was thinking about me. The devil can only access what's in your heart. So that was already there. He only loosened the tongue. Um, or the keyboard on the <laughs> anyway um, I tell you this because that, that attack and I call it an attack that person when um, I asked about it who oh, that was an attack that was um, that was the Lord so says the Lord that came from me from the Lord I said really well the Lord didn't say that to me I, I, is there a couple of lords around here? I don't know. Anyway, I took it as um, when you start a fast, any fast, you start breaking free. Um, the devil's going to notice it. And um, he will use anybody that's available around you because who are around you, it depends on, I don't know your circle, but whoever your circle is. Those are the ones you're going to use who have open doors. Open doors could go from the pastor to the pews. It don't matter. He's going to use them. <laughs> anyway. <laughs> um, I got a good lesson from that. It, it shook me for a second because the person who sent it, I was like, Wait a minute. This is what you've been thinking about me all this time? And you know, my flesh raised up quick. I was like, wow. That's why you're always acting funny around me. That's why you don't give me hugs and you know, you 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 you, you hugging everybody else up. But when it comes to me, you go, hey, that's where my that's where my flesh went. It went straight to where the devil wanted this to go. He wanted me to be offended and resentful. Well, I was offended, and yep, I was re resentful, and I was like, you know, I ain't gotta take this. 
Who do you think they are? <laughs> I can shoot back, but that's wrong. That's wrong. That was, I believe, God um, preparing me, teaching me. Um, that was God um, giving me lessons. What it taught me was that, you know, first, you forgive. I forgive. I forgive right away. You forgive it. I forgive it. You see, I'm smiling about it. I'm laughing about it. <laughs> and I laugh about it with the person. Later on, if they ever repent, <laughs> that's a sarcastic laugh. Anyway, um, I laugh. Uh, um, what I learned from it was that, wait a minute. You put in, I was putting too much on people. And um, my focus was on people. Rather than my focus being on God and Jesus alone. So sometimes in this walk, you've got to walk alone. No matter what's going on, you have to walk alone at one point. Because when you die, you're going to die alone. Or you get raptured. You know, you, you may oh, you be in the crowd, but you know what? It'll be just you as far as you're concerned. So you got to make your own way in. And um, I was putting too much effort into pleasing people. And um, wanting to be liked. Where um, it taught me where, you know what, as a person, as a man, as a woman, as, you know, that is somebody who is going to fail you eventually. Everybody will. And don't put your eggs in that basket. Put your eggs in the basket with the Lord because those eggs will never break. <laughs> they'll probably be around so long they'll hatch <laughs> you know those are the types of things that the Lord taught me in a day he taught me to focus in on him and not on people do not get offended when somebody else um, what they may feel about you I don't have to live up or down to anybody's standards nobody's and nor do you in the body of Christ, no matter how somebody tries to tell you you do, you don't. I don't live up or down to nobody. I live up and down to the standards of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. And um, as far as that situation went, we spoke on it, and um, that person, oh, stiff neck, was what the Bible called it, stiff neck. Um, from a group. That's where I see it. That's where I see it. I see you walk around here and you said you just mean things to people. I said no mean things. No, I just mean things to some men who act like women running around here. That's what I did. Um, or treat them like men. Not like, not like a little tender on me. Don't like it. Oh well. I love you. Um, <laughs> but um, anyway, oh, that I oh I kind of I can feel that that that. Conviction of the Holy Spirit right there, because I said that with a little venom. I that's when you're fasting, those type of things. It, it usually happens to me quickly, but it's even quicker because you just saw Jesus in action. I got convicted that quick of what I had just said about calling those men in that church tenderonies. You know, you know this is none of my business. None of my business. Unless they ask me, unless they come towards me, or unless the Lord, the Holy Spirit guides me to help. It's none of my business because me running my mouth like that, that's not helping. That's that's destroying. And you know, the devil's job is to kill, steal, and destroy. And that's what I was doing with my mouth. And I apologize and I repent to any of you who are looking at this video. Because in my mind, I'm already saying, I don't care. <laughs> But I do care, and I love you, and I repent, and I apologize. So anyway, let's get back to this video. What you're seeing right now in front of you is Jesus in action, his growth, his exposure. It is a person being real with you on video. Being real. Because I'm being real right now. I'm telling you the transparent truth of things that are going on. So, um... But anyway, with that thing, with that incident, I just had a bad taste in my mouth about it. But I, today when I woke up, you know, I had planned on going on that walk. You know what I did? 
I said, I, I said, oh, you know what? I'm gonna do a little worship. I started worshiping. I started praying. I started praising the Lord. I started about 9:30 this morning, and I finished um, about 4:30 in the afternoon. Continuum, because the Lord was here. He was working on me. He was oh man, it was it wonderful, and it put me in a perspective of. It was it sh not showed me it um lifted off what I had on me what the devil was sending at me. You notice also I speak a lot on the devil because the devil is there and do not be one of those people who say, Well you blame everything on the devil. Yeah, I do. He's the one. He's a dirty rotten scoundrel. And he's doing the same thing to you. And you need to start laying the blame where it belongs over there. And break out this camp and leave it over there and don't pick it back up and know that's trash I don't want it keep it over there holy fire wall of holy fire come through here burn it and then send them back over there burn it with holy fire and um anyway so um this is what's happening to me just today day two and it opened me up to receive the Lord to receive because with praise and worship it's like you leave this this flesh you just forget about it I mean it was hours and I just forgot about space and time I was just worshiping the Lord like hallelujah <laughs> singing and worshiping praying in tongues That's what this is all about. That's what it's all about. Me communing with the Lord. Allowing my spirit to do what the spirit wants to do. Not what the flesh wants. Instead of me reacting to things on the outside. I'm reacting to how I feel on the inside. Today from the inside. My spirit said I want to worship the Lord. And that's what I did. I worshiped the Lord. Day two. Um, so, uh, <clears throat> I'll probably, as far as the food situation goes, I'm, I'm not hungry yet. I mean, it, it really doesn't kick in until, well, I'm telling you, around 10 days or so. The devil will send a few things in your area, like, you know, people cooking some food or um, going out to, um, you just, Food just comes your way. All those people who never wanted to take you nowhere, all of a sudden want to take you out to dinner. All those people who never brought you nothing are bringing you a plate of food. That's the devil. <laughs> the devil at his best. And believe me. Um, and you know what I say? I'm going to say this real quick one time. And this was the last part of the time I said, if people don't like the way I am, the way I say things, hey, it, uh, cut it off right there. <laughs> I'm going to say this stuff. I'm going to say it real. And I'm going to say it real because whoever it is out there needs somebody real. Because when I listen to somebody, I need them to come at me real because I can identify a fake and a phony. I can, I can see a fraud and a counterfeit real quick. And I back up off them quickly. I don't want nothing to do with it because your father is a liar. And he's the devil. It's the truth. Um, anyway, so I'll be real with everyone there. Um, day two of this fast, things are fine. Um, there's some little technical things that I never heard anybody speak on about a fast before. They never tell you about what happens with your bowels because you're not eating food. Are you still have a bowel movement? They never tell you about things that could happen um, during this fast. It happened to me on I was I think I was on a, uh, the twenty one I think it was a twenty one day fast I was on, and I was going to church. Um, I lived far from church, the church at that time, and I'm going to church, praise the Lord all the way up there, you know. 20, almost 19, 20 days in. I'm looking good too. I'm got my mouth on. <laughs> and I'm 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 walking down the street 
And I thought I had a little gas. I'm like, oh, I got gas. So <laughs> um, oh, oh, what do you call it? It went out being nasty about it. Okay, it was a wet fart. <laughs> it went all the way down my leg, down my pants, walking on my way to Sunday service. That's that's the type of things that happens on fast because um, you have nothing in there. You're drinking stuff, and that stuff goes straight through. Coffee, especially. And um, well, what I did was I had to I kind of walk kind of crazy to the first gas station I found. <laughs> Went in the bathroom. I had to take off my clothes in the bathroom. Take my underwear, and clean myself off with what wasn't messed up. Roll those in the, in the garbage. Try to clean off the, the back of the pants the best I could. And then, you know what I did? Devil, now I'm not giving you no pleasure in laughing at me. I mean, it, it, it was a physical thing. I don't know if I could blame that on the devil or not. I don't know. I blame him for everything. He's a good target because he's shooting darts at me. Anyway, um, so I'm like, I'm, whoosh, I'm going to church. So I put my pants back on, make sure it was clean on the back, and I stretched them back down the street. And it was wet. It was because I, you know, I cleaned them. And when I got to church, I took my shirt out, I took my shirt out, I prayed, I worshiped the Lord, I got the message, I fellowship with my brothers and sisters in Christ, and I kept moving. I kept going forward. The Lord taught me that too. Because a lot of times before I'm like, oh, I'm going to my pants. I'm going home. Forget this. I'm going home. No. I don't, I don't live like that no more. <laughs> that, that dude is dead. Mm. So, um, I don't want to make this too long. We're at 30 minutes now. So, um, this is day two on our journey. We got 38 more days to go. Um... I never did a fast with nobody before. Well, some people, you know, with church fast. Well, I don't want to. Want to go back to having to repent again? And a lot of times, the church fast is don't eat breakfast, don't eat lunch, but we gonna have dinner here together. Okay. <laughs> I don't wake up to twelve o'clock anyway. <laughs> Hallelujah. I love you. Um, but anyway. Um, this is day two of the fast, and I'm enjoying spending my time. And um, expect for somebody from somewhere to crawl from under a rock and try and knock you off of this fast. Expect it. And don't get your little feelings hurt. Don't be a little tenderoni. Get your little feelings hurt. Um, like I did. <laughs> so, I mean, it, it, didn't, it didn't really um, make me mad, I guess. If I really want to tell the truth, it hurt my feelings because I didn't expect it from the person that gave it to me. Whew, that came out of um, left field. And it was a cheap shot. And so, um, anyway, I don't want to talk too much about that because it'll build up the flesh again. I just don't get mad. <laughs> and I want to love that person forever. Um, Anyway, um, well, time for me to get ready to get out of here. I got 10 minutes to get to church. And it's 6.49 now. This is 33 minutes. Well, I don't want to hear it. Let's leave it at 33. Let's go to make it to 34. Because um, I don't like the number 33. 33 Freemasons and all that junk. Ah. So, anyway, let's say a prayer. Dear Father God, thank you for this day thank you for this night thank you for tomorrow thank you for letting me worship you today thank you for letting the person watching this video worship you father god thank you because when we worship you it does nothing for you because you're god with with or without me it allows me to be able to be with you in your presence and then being in your presence makes me better better it puts me in the light Thank you, Lord, for giving me the opportunity to be with you. Nobody else is doing that other than you, Lord, with no strings attached. Nothing. All you want is me because you love me. And I say thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus, 
for covering me with your blood and washing me clean and standing in front of me and allowing you to be the shield that keeps God from looking at my sin. Thank you, Jesus, for loving me. I say that for right now. And I see you tomorrow, day three. And we'll have 37 more days to go. I love you. Hallelujah. Please comments below and tell us what's going on with you. I love you. Bye-bye.